Rasso against her former club, motoring into the penalty area. Rasso tipped onto the crossbar and over it by Sandy McKeever. Oh, Lasada, that was very risky. It's Amber Gard! What a start that would have been on her Everton debut. Becky. That's a really good run by Weir. Here's Lasada. Oh, off the post and in! She doesn't miss this time. What a finish that is. No mistake. In off the upright. Duggan dispossessed in a dangerous area. Becky trying to work the shooting opportunity. It's Janine Becky. It's 2 0. No pressure, no pressure, still no pressure. Cuts across 18 yard box in the middle. From a goalkeeper perspective, I would be absolutely seething at that. Here is Rasso to Shaw, and it's three. Everton are falling apart here. No pressure once again. Just, just no pressure. First balls, second balls. Willie Kirk will have some stern words at half time. Receives the ball back from Emsley. It's a decent cross. Nearly caught out. Benamur. It's Turner goes low. And that's a tremendous save. Best chance for Everton so far. Oh, and Katija Shaw's gone down. Oh, and it's off the bar. So close to a fourth. It's Horton. And it is four. That is absolutely brilliant from Steph Horton. When it's struck like that, there's even the point of a wall. What a goal from Steph Horton. Well, obviously, a largely disappointing afternoon. What do you take from that? Yeah, it doesn't take much. Uh, we've, we've, we're very disappointed. The players are very disappointed. You know, we feel we've let ourselves down, and by letting ourselves down, we've let each other down, and by doing that, we ultimately we've let the supporters down uh, because we asked the supporters to turn up and 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 cheer us on. They certainly did that. Uh, there's no doubt about that. I thought the fans were great until the end, and. Yeah, it's, it's one game out of 22, but it's certainly not something that I, I've seen coming. Yeah, and obviously we've had a, a really positive pre-season. It's maybe a bit of a, a wake-up call almost of where we need to get to, to you know, the ambitions that we've got this season. Yeah, I think, I think it's a really poor performance. and I think the occasions maybe played its part. Uh, I mean, there's no doubt in the quality. You could see in, in spells that, you know, we can cause them problems and... Uh, the spells just weren't long enough. You know, the the quality wasn't maintained for long enough. We would give the ball away really cheaply, out of possession. We weren't aggressive enough or uh, brave enough out of possession. We talk about being brave on the ball, but the way we want to play this year, you've got to be brave off the ball as well. And uh, and we never done that. We we had we ended up getting caught in between positions quite a lot. So three 0 down at a break was always going to be hard to come back from. And as much as the second half I thought was improved, you know, it's it still wasn't a the standards that we've been setting recently. It's obviously difficult as well when those three goals do come within like 12 minutes. For, for, to get the team back up and, and go again, it's obviously tough when it happens so quickly. Yeah, but that happened a few times last season. We would lose goals quite quickly, you know, in a short space of time. So uh, against the bigger teams. So, you know, I don't think it should have happened today. If you look, if you know, if you analyse the goals, I don't think City had to work hard for their goals. I think, I think, I think they found it easy to score their goals, which is disappointing because I, I believe that that was a City team that we we've missed an opportunity today because I think we were better prepared than them. I think we we're we we're fitter than them uh, because of the consequences of them starting a the pre-season a little bit later. And it's a missed opportunity. We've not cap capitalised on those things that were in our favour, so uh, we need to dust ourselves down and take all of that on the chin that I've, I've just said about letting ourselves down and and move on to next week. Is that maturity factor with this team as well? Because we touched on pre-match, five new signings that started, you know, more that came off the bench. Uh, you know, this team will need time to gel and, um, you know, today's a, a reminder of where they need to get to. Yeah, but we've not got time in the WSL because it's such a, you know, it's a 12 team league. So we need to find that quite quickly. We need to find that in time for next week. And uh, yeah, it is a lot of new signings, but, you know, as I said, I think previously pre-seasons went really, really well. So. Uh, I don't think it's about them not gelling. I think it's just about uh, us not being clear enough on the day and clear enough with some of our decisions on the pitch. And it's not a time, obviously, to you know feel sorry for ourselves because we've got a massive game next weekend as well. 
we, we, that's the last thing we can do is feel sorry for ourselves. We've got to get back at it in tomorrow, recover properly. We'll then have a couple of days off, which we'll probably be needed, and then we'll start prepping for, for Chelsea on, on, on Wednesday, and uh, we'll prepare well for that, and, and we'll go into that game. Uh, we need to go into that game in, in a, a better place than we are just now.